Welcome back. This time, Centaur, the one and only Centaur. For me, for a long time, the holy grail um, of early solid state pinball machines. Um, built in 1981. The designer was Jim Patler. He did also KISS, Silver Ball Mania, um, Xenon and a lot of other pinball machines. And he teamed up with Paul Ferris. Paul Ferris was responsible for the artwork of Paragon, Space Invaders, Xenon and also a lot of other pinball machines. And um, the result of that, this one. It's not only in, in terms of artwork and layout or whatever um, a unique, unique pinball machine, but there were, there were a lot of innovations. Uh, don't get me wrong, some things were maybe in there before, but let's start with something I think that was pretty unique. Um, an attract mode. Pretty awesome. Yeah. And not only this, we also have, as you heard, an echo board in there for the sound, which is really special. The sound in general is really good, really, really good. Um, what we also have, we have a um, second ball through with four additional balls. So we have a five ball, multi ball, and up to five ball, multi ball um, with an auto shoot, an auto blanch for the four in the second ball through. Um, we have this in lane out lane or this out lane in lane gate on the left and right side, which we also know from Viking. Um, what else do we have? We have the attract mode yeah, and the five ball multi ball. That's pretty super super unique and we have a magnet that's not really new um, we had it also on gorgar maybe before too i'm not sure about that um, but even if you just take a plain look at that um, i hope you can see it in the video um, with the um, red um, blue white and um, green inserts and orange uh, it's really a, a beautiful pinball machine um, as always, I do not only um, talk about it like I do it right now. I will explain you in the next step the layout and then the rules. Um, after that, I will go for one game, a solid game, hopefully, to show everything I explained to you in the, in the rules section. And um, there will be a summary and maybe uh, it will be uh, to build up some, some suspense. Um, for me, it was... Centaur for a long time the best pinball machine or it's solid state pinball machines, but Right now I would say it's fathom if you want to know why then you have to wait for a summary and after the summary there will be a one minute um, um, Quick tutorial to tell you everything you need to know about um, Centaur if you're in a um, Competition situation so that you know enough um, to be able to win. So this is it Let's go to the layout So in order to explain the layout, I choose another view, another perspective um, to get uh, more details in there. So you have the full play field right in front of you. Let's start from the bottom and then work slowly up from the left to the right. Um, in the bottom area, we have two out lanes, we have two in lanes and we have here posts and that posts can help you um, get the ball back through the gates into the in lanes. Yeah? Sometimes it works by itself, sometimes you have to give a little push. So, from the right flipper, you can shoot a captive ball, and after the captive ball, you have four inline drop targets, and then stand-up target um, right behind that too. You can also go through the channel um, to hit the captive ball, and from the right flipper, you can also shoot the ball into um, through the gate, a kind of a gate, into the rollover lanes on the top. There are three of them. All um, top lanes will um, bring the ball back into the bumpers. So also from the right flipper, you can work on the orb drop targets, O-R-B-S. Um, <clears throat> after the orb um, drop targets, orbs drop targets, there are two stand-up targets. Um, and that's pretty much it. Sometimes you can also backhand some shots here into the um, target, um, which is um, right behind the um, um, green insert. 
And from the left flipper, you can also work on the prop targets. And then you have the target um, with the green insert. And then if you have here an orbit, um, which um, ends at a stand-up target, a blue st uh, red stand-up target. Then you also have um, four drop targets on the right. And that's pretty much it. What I forgot is a stand-up target here too. So with the right flipper, you can also shoot here. From the left flipper, you can shoot the drop targets. Um, also, of course, yeah. And um, here we go. I think let's go then to the rules. Centaur has a unique set of rules. Um, actually, as said, there is an attract mode, and um, a direct mode is to explain the rules. So let's recapture that. Well, here we go. It's orbs feature, sequence feature, chamber feature, guardian feature, and bonus feature. And that's how I explain it. Okay, let's start with the orbs. The orbs can be captured. Yeah? If you um, drop down um, all four orbs targets, you will, get an, you will get one captive orb. If you do it in the right order, O-R-B-S, actually you can do it with two shots if they're well-timed, OR at the same time and BS at the same time, then you get an instant add a ball. So you have a two ball multi ball already. Um, either way, a captive orb will be added. Um, what is more importantly um, um, here is that you can release your orbs later. Yeah? There are different ways to release your orbs. So if you have, for instance, three captive orbs, um, then you can release the orbs either, and that's the most easy way to do it on ball three. It's a little bit depending on the settings, which you can um, adjust in the dip, with the dip switches. On the ball three, the release will be lit here and the right orbit, and you have to go all the way up to the red drop target. And the magnet will hold the ball. Magnet will hold the ball and three additional balls will be shoot into the game. There are other ways to get it to the release. Yeah? Um, the um, most easy way is to hit one, two, three, four in sequence. Um, you're in sequence as long as they are blinking. Um, that's what I want to add to the orbs too. Um, if they are blinking, you're in sequence. If they're not blinking anymore, you're not in sequence. If you hit the B for the O or the R, then you're not in sequence anymore and it's just adding a captive orb, but you're, there's no way to get to the instant um, um, add a ball. You have to hit all every, everyone down and try again. Okay, going back to the one, two, three, four, which is actually <clears throat> already the sequence feature. If you have that one, then also release will be lit. If you hit the, um, the complete um, um, row of, of drop targets here, not only if you have in sequence, um, um, the release will be lit, but also there's a bonus collect feature, which I will come to later on, also on the same shot. If you do not have them in, in order, because you just hit the three and um, you do not want to work on everyone, uh, every tar target again, then you can hit here this send up target and this one resets this target bank. So you can work on that again. And there's a special treat for that. If you have one, two, three, and only the four is missing, for instance, but it works on any other number two, you can hit the target, the stand-up target at the top um, right, the green, which is green, with the green insert before, and that will give you the next one. Huh? So if you have one and two, you hit the next one, you get the three, and you have hit it once more, and then you have the four, and, you, and then you complete the sequence feature. Huh? Um, so this is a pretty unique um, thing with this target for resetting, this for adding the next one, and uh, here just drop targets. I like remotely controlled drop targets. Love it. Good. There we go. And that was the orbs feature, and then the sequence feature. The next thing is, thing is the um, chamber feature. The chamber feature is not so much used um, in a normal game because 
it's not really it's hard and it's not really worth going for it um there was a special situation or you can you can um if you take the four balls out of your ball through from the auto shoot you have a one ball game um, no multi balls at all and then this one might make more sense but other than that it could also make a little bit sense if you hit a captive ball and you trap one drop target you get 10000 points and your bonus advances and bonus will be um, explained later on um, if you hit the second time, you get 20,000 and three bonus advances and so on. Um, if you hit the captive ball um, via this um, 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 lane here, um, you will get um, the double value. 20 will be 40 and 50 will be 100. Um, can also be some, um, some decent points uh, at the end of the day. If you have completed all four of the drop targets then release is lit um, here over there for this stand-up target too so there are three ways to release the captive orbs ball three you know the pity release um, then one two three four in order in sequence or here working on the drop targets so this is then the um, chambers feature right? Um, one thing more, the chambers feature usually, also depending on the settings, um, if, you, if you're already at 30k, yeah, um, this will, um, um, uh, will be kept for, for the next ball. Good. What else do we have? We have now the orbs, the sequence and the chambers. Next one is guardian. The guardian feature is here um, um, represented with the blue inserts. You have the left uh, in lane outlane and the right in lane outlane. If you complete every uh, all four of them, um, then one ball will be added. That's a power orb. Yeah? This power orb, you have it here with the big um, insert in the middle, releases power orb. This is lit here with my software settings, just once a ball. Yeah? I would highly recommend that because otherwise you can do that endlessly, yeah? especially with, sh with, um, with some um, shedsing skills. So this is the power orb, the guardian feature. Um, one thing to, to, um, 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 to think about or um, to, to um, 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 consider is that you only can switch between those here on the left side and those on the right side. So can, you cannot really go through it in total. Good, guardian feature. And now to the last one, um, that's the bonus feature. Nearly everything will add to the bonus. As said here, this one will add to the bonus. This one, those drop targets will add to the bonus. There are also some decent points here in the um, sequence feature if you do it in order. 10, 20, 40, 80k and 8 bonus advance with the last target. Then you get, it, you get a bonus advance for, for switches. Um, you get bonus advance for the drop targets there, for the rollovers. Um, so there are a lot of options to add to the bonus feature. Also, depending on the software settings, I have it right now here like that, that the 20, the 40 and the 60K um, will be kept once you have them for the next ball. Um, there are also more easy software settings that um, any um, amount of bonus points um, will be kept for the next ball. Good, you have a 2X, 3X, 4X and 5X um, bonus multiplier. You have to complete the, um, the roll over lanes over there. I have to admit, the one in the middle is broken. Um, the, the light and the switch, um, but I still will go for that. You can still complete the lanes, um, just as a comment, um, um, if you're wondering later in the game why this doesn't work like that. I was not able to fix it in a short term. One more thing about the bonus feature is, um, it could be, 60 plus 90, 79,000 points, x5 for the end of ball bonus, but you can also collect the bonus in between. If you drop down all of those drop targets, then you will see here the, the red um, um, collect bonus arrow lit, and then there is a timed um, possibility to hit the target um, at the top. Um, if you, uh, the 2x, the 3x, the 4x and the 5x will go up and if you hit it in the right time, you can also do a bonus collect 5x 79k. Um, <clears throat> yeah, 
that was it. A lot of possibilities to add points, to add balls. Um, I hope I explained most of the things that are important for that. And let's go for one game to um, dive even deeper. Huh? Let's see. Here we go for the fun part, playing a game of Centaur or everything else before was work. So let's see. Let's see here, this is the broken middle lane. And now I want to go for ORBS in sequence. Here that's the O. As I said, with a perfect shot, you have the O and the R at one time. Well, I missed it. Ah, that's bad, but you know, I had to do it. Okay, I have here a blue one and here a blue one. Let's try to get um, the other two. Ah, that was a bad attempt of shatting and that was also a bad attempt. But here, I will work on that a bit. Here we go. And uh, that was too weak. Now let's try the other side. Again. Here we go. I have two here. I have one there left to go for. And if I complete those four, I will add a ball. Whoa, that was really close to having... Okay. A lot of decisions to be taken, but okay, first of all, I completed one lane here or one target bank and so I've added a captive orb which can be released later on through either here on the last ball, completing this lane and then um, activating release or the release over there. But again, since I have it here on my right flipper, I will go for the O and that's a disappointment. But that was a free game. Okay, for the O. Okay, this is what I meant. If you have a kind of perfect shot, I wouldn't say I do perfect shots, but here this time it worked out. I have the O and the R with, the one, with one shot, and now the B. And it would have, if it would have been a little bit more to the right, I would have been have the B and the S at one time. And so I'm in sequence, I can hit the S and then I have another ball. Here we go. And here now the auto, auto plunge feature kicks in. What I will do here is I will work on more orbs. Did you see? I switched it just in time, so I completed those four. And at least, even though I did not get the ball back through the captive gate, or for the, from, um, from, um, from the gate, I'm still here and play with a two ball multi ball. But here the release power ops here in the middle is gone, so I cannot add another ball in this ball, during this ball, with this feature. Okay, let's add more Bonus multiplier. No, not with the middle lane as said. Okay, that's it with the multi ball. At least I have two captive orbs, and you have seen the guardian feature, and you have seen the orbs feature in terms of having it in order. I already have 40k in bonus, a 2x bonus multiplier. Let's go for the 2 and 3 to light the bonus collect. Oh. No, it does not go back. And I think it's okay if it does not go back all the time. No? You can even think about removing those um, rubbers or the posts at all so you do not get it back all the time. It could get a little bit boring if it gets back at any given time. Okay, here they are. 
got the hour sorry I'm again out of order here but I completed the target bank here with a kind of um, emergency shot and now you see the bonus collect um, lit the arrow is red lit and now it goes up to 5x let's try to get it here 3x wall and that was a decent point of 150k 50k in bonus 3x and here we go 150k with one shot with the bonus collect let's add another or no the R no R no sequence one more R and now add another add um, an S to get the three orbs no did not make it Oh, oh, good. Oh, we have here a police power up slit again because I used it on ball one and now we are on ball two. And that's it. Bad youth human, human. There are a lot of quotes in there. No, not a lot, but there are some quotes in there. And bad move human is when you really miss the lane. Yeah, you switch it in the wrong way. Okay, let's go for the one and two. Let's go for the two. Okay, now I have the bonus collect again lit. Maybe let's go for one captive ball just just to show it. Huh? Okay, that was nice. It gave me a, um, um, a chamber, a chamber, queen's chamber. Um, that means I got two bonus advances. Now I have the bonus max at 79. I have a two X um, if the ball um, goes out. And also I can 69, uh, 79, sorry, um, 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 times five if I hit it in the right time here with the right orbit. Um, and with the shot here, I also have two, one and two in order. Let's go for another Schätzing. One thing to add, because I explained it already in the rules, it's a minor thing. If you went here for the captive ball through the rollover stars, um, it was not only 10, but 20k. Good. What to do? Um, maybe just add the B. And now I'm still in order. And it's really tough, really tough to hit the, um, the four from the left flipper, but you can make the shot over there to the target with the green insert to get this one remotely. Let's try this one. Uh, first of all, I need it on the... Here we go. So, now it's up to me. What can I do? I can do. I can go either for the bonus collect or I can go for the green target and then have to release lit to have four balls. Yeah? Okay, let's go for the green target. That was not... Thankfully, I got another chance. That was pretty close. Here we go. Okay, that was great, really good for a pinball tutorial. I hit the fourth, uh, the target, um, send up target, the green one, and that gave me the number four. With the number four, the release came. I have not to wait, I did not have to wait for ball three to come with the pity release. I can release it right now. I have it on the right flipper. Um, also in the emergency thing, I. Um, um, I made another drop target in there, so it's here 30k. But now I can do two things at one time. 
first I can release it and secondly I can also release a bonus collect or I can get a bonus collect and nothing of that happened because I screwed it ah. ba -ba -ba bad okay but I think you got it it's not for me about getting a perfect game out because I want to, um, um, it's summer time and um, I also want to spend some time outside my basement. Um, but still, what I want to show you is a five ball multi ball. And now I'm really up to a five ball multi ball. It's one, two, three, four captive orbs. Release is lit. Unfortunately, um, the pity release on ball three, but who cares? Here we go. Let's get control and another bonus collect. Okay, another, once more, left flipper, right orbit. And once more, failed. Compensated. Ah, lucky me. Whoa, and again, failed. Oh, now it's a fight. Ah, now I can play it maybe safely and try to add another ball here with Shetzing and then go for the release. Um, but you saw that already in the tutorial. So let's just, just, just make the shot. Here we go. Magnet failed, but I don't care. Four balls will be added. And one ball is lost already. And what do I do? I go for a bonus multiplier. Two balls are lost already. Here I lost the ball, but I switched in the right time. So, just want to explain it, stop it, and then explain it maybe stop it and explain it okay i lost actually three balls of the five ball multi ball but um i completed with the right out lane the four guardian inserts and it gave me another release power off on ball three so i'm back with three ball multi ball and what can i do right now I can work on here the ADK, I'm in sequence, so it's blinking, flashing. Um, I can, uh, with that, I do not only get ADK, but also get another release lit. And um, more importantly, before I do that, I need the S to add a captive ball, because a release without a captive ball, captive orb is nothing. So the S, that's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, and less and less balls here. Oh, it's hard. Ah, you know I'm not. I'm not the best. I'm not the best player. Really. But it's also not about impressing you. It's just about showing you the rule set of this beautiful machine okay in the meantime i had the um number four um, um, um hit and some more after that i have the bonus collect shot lit um i have if i hit it right now i would just one ball will be added so i will still go for more Captive orbs before I would actually do it. Okay. Now I am in trouble. I added one more captive orb, but I lost the ball. And now I wait for a good time to, on the one hand, collect the bonus, most, pro most hopefully with three, and add another two balls uh, with uh, times five bonus. 79, five, five, 79 times 5, which is nearly 
400k plus getting two balls by making the shot in the perfect time let's see okay me was not the perfect time but it was a good time it was at least was it was at least times two and here O and R are in, this, in the right sequence if I do the B and the S I get another ball so I'm back to four ball multi ball and I, if, it, I, if I hit the two, I will get a collect bonus again. Here, yeah, that's not good. Ah okay, still, let's go for the B. Because with the B, that's nice. With the B, I also got this one. So I have the bonus collect again lit. Okay, and that's pretty good here on this pinball machine. There is a nice. Uh, okay, I will have to do a thing on my computer. Okay, everything is okay. Okay, completed garden feature again, but hey, let's see if everything is still working. Yeah completed garden feature again but there's no reward for that because I can get it only once in for one ball okay what do I have at this time I have a bonus collect shot lit so I can exceed the two millions at least so let's wait for a perfect time bum 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 it's a 2x lit and missed it Okay, let's do a shots to get control and here are 2x, 3x, 4 or 5 and the best time is to start when it's 2 and missed it. I thought it was good, would have been good but missed it. Here 3x. Okay, so there's 2 million. The rest is showcasing. I really don't care anymore um, about showing you things because because you have seen everything. Um, I cannot add easily a power orb, so let's go for a captive orb. Yeah, here we go. O and R, the O, the R, and now the B. A. Okay, I was fricked, but then I was rewarded. So let's go for the chamber feature. Okay, got two of them. Ah, that would be great, huh? because I did not do it all the time, uh, often. I need another two captive, um, um, captive balls, and then the third one will release me if I hit it in a good way. I have already three captive orbs again, so it would be worth going for that. Okay. But actually, if I if I won't do it, you won't be. Yeah, yeah I didn't do it. Okay. But you know, it's a decent game. It's 2.5 million. 2.6 million. I think it's okay. Um, if you want to check out a longer, more skillfully played game, then um, search for Eric Stone and Centaur Pinball. I think he rolled it with 13 uh, million. It's a great game. I'm not such a great player, but I, I try to explain things to you. So this is it. Let's go to the summary. So the summary. First of all, let's do um, Centaur the summary by himself at first. Sequence feature. 
What a unique pinball machine. Mm, for me, it's it was, it was um, number one for a long time. Now, as promised, I will tell you why it's not anymore. Um, still, it can give you boost, goosebumps. It did a lot of times in the past, but not so much anymore because I played a long time. It was a friend for a long time for me. Um, actually, I think um, Feather, and you can also check out my channel for a Feather tutorial, is number one. Um, since the gameplay itself is a little bit more refined, there are two things I missed. I miss or I missed about um, a Centaur. Telling you those two things also um, tells you that it's not really uh, a black and white thing, which is a nice reference to the spinball machine, actually. Um, first of all, I think of what is missing is an extra ball. There is no extra ball here on Centaur. And this is something that is really rewarding on pinball machines, but here we do not have it. But we have the other ball and we have multiple ways to get another ball. So I'm not really sure if it still holds. Yeah? Then the next thing is that you know, do not have really a um, um, something special or a jackpot thing in, in the multi-ball. Um, in Fathom, if you have a two, X, uh, two, uh, two ball multi-ball, it's two X play field. And if you have a three ball multi-ball, you have a three X play field. And if you have a slit spinner, the spinner shot is the jackpot shot. Actually, here you do not have it really like that way. For what you care about, you care about adding captive orbs and and then we it, we come back to the jackpot. Yes, there is a kind of a jackpot. That's the bonus collect thing. Just um, drop the four targets here and then you have a bonus collect and you can call that jackpot shot. So I have two complaints and those two, two complaints are not, not so valid anymore if you take a, um, a deeper look into that. But it could, 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 could get a little bit boring if you have a setup that is too easy. Balls come back all the time. The dip switches are set that you can have the garden feature um, at any time. Um, so then you get really multiple orgies, which is okay for a certain amount of time. That, but then it can get pretty boring um, if your um, pinball skills improve. And um, okay, this is it. But still, at the end of the day, this machine is special. It has its place in history. It looks awesome. It plays awesome. Um, you can do something which they did in the um, IFPA World Championship in 2024. You can remove four balls from the um, second ball through and then you have a one ball game, which is totally different. Maybe I will do a, um, um, a gameplay video of that. Then the multi-ball um, um, massacre. Yeah? Okay, here we go. Great thing, Jim Petler, Paul Ferris did a great job. Um, thank you. Also, thank you after, let's count it, 9081 and we have 2024. That's 43 years. 43 years later, a machine like Centaur is still mind blowing. Um, thank you so much. And thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, you can also check out Flash Gordon and Fathom, um, two other classic pinball machines. I did a tutorial. I did um, 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 a video about how to not suck at pinball. I, I will maybe add a um, classic edition, um, how to not suck at pinball to that. Um, remember, if you play classic pinball machines, to, to look out for Bob Matthews' guide for um, classic pinball machines. A lot, over, indeed over 400 um, um, machines are explained in a quick way and then in a long way. It's pretty awesome. Check it out. I, um, um, <clears throat> I, I developed a, a, a special user interface for that, um, rules.silverballmania.com. And this is it. So finally, um, thank you for watching. And um, let's go to the last part of it, the bonus feature. Um, send over in one minute. See you. Centaur in one minute. Let's start. Complete the ORBS targets to light a captive orb. Complete them in sequence and instantly add another ball. 
You can also instantly add another wall by completing this um, inlane outlanes, the four of them, the blue ones. If you have collected some captive orbs, you can release them either on ball three with a pity release lid on ball three, on the most pinball machines at least, or you complete the one, two, three, four drop targets to light a release. Each time you have completed this target bank, a bonus collect is lit, and if you have a perfect timing, you, have, you can have it up to 5x the bonus. Um, <clears throat> you can also um, um, increase the um, bonus multiplier by the top lanes, and you can add some points with the captive ball. You can even go up to the release with the captive ball. Um, remember, you can do with a little push like that, and get the back ball in play, uh, back in play. So this is it. Um, hope you had some fun. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye.